Good evening, everybody. Uneducated Economist here. So, somebody had commented on my last video saying that the way that I was looking at inflation was impossible. Actually, that's the word he used, was impossible. Because uh, I have the idea, uh, I am of the idea anyway, that low unemployment will eventually have more dollars chasing the goods and services out there, and the goods and services are going to demand more of those dollars. So my idea is, is that as we have this record low unemployment taking place, more jobs in the system, more money coming in, that, that new dollars, once people have kind of gotten themselves established, should go off and start chasing the goods and services that are out there causing the inflation to take place. And the, com the comment was basically saying that's impossible, that it doesn't work like that. So being the uneducated economist, what I did is I went up and I pulled two charts. I got the unemployment rate, the, the yearly unemployment rate for the last 20 years and I got the CPI index for the last 20 years and now they aren't exactly up to date but for the discussion they're gonna work and what I did is I took the uh, the unemployment rate and I drew some arrows on here and I colored them by indication of which direction the unemployment rate was going and I did the same thing for the CPI index and then it as try as hard as I try to and I'm not knowing exactly how to do it. I tried to superimpose one over the top of the other and I could not do it. But I was able to get this screenshot when I did the transition in the video when I was trying to edit it. So unfortunately, I don't have a proper superimposing overlay for the pictures. But for the discussion, I think again, it's gonna work out just fine. Now, if you notice, the unemployment could probably slide back just a little bit, like about a tenth of the page in order to be more in line with the uh, CPI index. But again, I think it's probably gonna work out just fine. So what I did is I drew some black circles on there anytime that the colors of the arrows matched, whether red or green, it didn't matter because what that was showing is that they were working inversely to each other. When unemployment goes down, inflation goes up. When inflation goes up, unemployment goes down, vice versa as far as, as, far as that goes. And so anytime I had a matching colors, I would draw a black circle around it. And then I did the same thing when the colors didn't match. And you're gonna notice about half the time, it works. And if you notice most recently, it's happening again. So, uneducated economists. You guys let me know.